So you're here, and I'm here, <laughs> and earlier before you got here, you won kind of an award for a social innovation. What was the social innovation, uh, so, you know, just roughly <coughs> speaking? Sure. Um, I have a social enterprise that I started this year called Stories of Us. Yes. And it came out of my research, basically, on early childhood uh, English language literacy. And so I, around HKU, there's a lot of buzz around social innovation and social enterprises. And so it was sort of like the perfect storm. Like I had this idea, and every time I looked up, there was an event, there was a program, mm -hmm. there was an organization. So I just sort of jumped in, and yeah. here we are. So this, this brings to mind a question that I think is very important when we're having these entrepreneurship events. The question is, does, do all of these events get in the way of actually doing real social innovation work? And, and what do you think is actually necessary in a city to, 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 be like a, to, to create like a seed bed for entrepreneurship or social innovation? To the last question, I'll answer that first. Passion. Mm. You must have passion if you feel like you're going to engage in a social enterprise. Uh, and also alignment. Uh, thankfully, my research and my social enterprise are all in the same direction. I have a passion for working with marginalized populations mm -hmm. in uh, Hong Kong. And so what my social enterprise and my research looks at are uh, early childhood parent-child reading aloud amongst asylum seekers and refugees mm -hmm. and immigrants. Mm -hmm. And so through Stories of Us, it sort of gave me an entry point uh, for working with NGOs and getting access and then helping with funding because I was able to apply for incubators. Mm -hmm. And then my passion for the research kept me interested in wanting to find out more about the situation and my love of teaching, of course, yeah. it all just sort of came together. Does the passion come from noticing a problem or does it just come from some inherent love of literacy and teaching? You never ask the simple question. Mm. There, Actually, there are no simple <laughs> questions, I think. I hope. Actually, I think for me, um, it sort of comes from both. Like I have personal experiences that I think fuel my passion. Mm -hmm. And I actually really love teaching and education and working with kids and working with parents. And there's something just magical about reading to me with fun and enjoyment. And then I really enjoy seeing little kids get into a story and just their natural you know, innocence just comes through so well in fiction. Mm -hmm. And so I, I've always enjoyed that and then uh, when I started engaging in this work and I started realizing that a lot of parents, it doesn't come as naturally to them as it came to me, that's when the whole light bulb came in, well, teach the parents. And mm -hmm. then when you start to see parents grow and they start having their own revelations on how mm -hmm. they can approach learning, yeah, you start to gain traction. You know, there's, there's going to be a lot said today, I think, about, you know, there's a first note, there's a new first speaker who's going to talk about when I was 28, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you see this really big narrative in the U.S. of quitting school getting out of school and starting a startup. Is it ever worth it, you think, and we can close with this, you ever, do you, is it ever worth it to sort of stop learning in order to pursue something like entrepreneurship? No. I can appreciate someone who wants to shift the way they learn. If you want to, uh, to refer to Kent Robinson, if you want to be creative in the way you approach schooling and you want to step outside of the walls of school, but you should never stop learning if you're going to learn from doing, if you're going to throw yourself into a startup and you're going to immerse yourself in that knowledge, keep learning. But the moment you stop learning, I think you become stagnant. Yeah, I agree. Well, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks right. for having me. Thank you.